Woohoo, check out this murder weapon. Hell yeah. Look at that. Uh-huh. Sharp corners. Uh, home built uh, by a good friend of mine, Tracy. Uh, my compliments on the uh, paint job and the look of this guitar. Very, very cool. Uh, Floyd Rose system. Um, I am really honored and happy to be setting this thing up for him. Ultimately, we're doing the final setup on this thing. We'll check all the uh, all the uh, specs on this, make sure everything's working. And uh, what he tells me is that at this point, the neck position pickup is not working. Uh, so uh, we've got to deal with that. We're going to put a set of 9-gauge Ernie Ball Slinkies on here, tune it up to A at 440. We don't tune to 432. Uh, if you do tune to 432... You'll be the one guy sitting around the campfire that's out of tune and everybody hates. Yep. Anyway, uh, got a lot of work to do on this one, it looks like. So I'm going to do my best. Uh, this one, fortunately, is small enough that it fits on my pad uh, so that I don't have to worry about dinging up these corners. Um, a lot of Flying Vs and Explorer-style guitars, man. They're so big. They, oof, I got to put a big towel over everything. So uh, uh, got my work cut out. Look at the texture on that. Isn't that cool? is beautiful all right here we go so the uh kit uh warlock style guitar here's a testament to all of the machine heads or uh locking nuts that i've undone that were stripped out yep i've had to cut the uh end of my hex key off numerous times this is a three mil hex key and I get these in all the time where dudes tighten them down to the point that they are stripped. There is absolutely no reason to do that. Get it snug and stop. If your guitar uh, goes out of tune after you've been using the Floyd Rose, at that point, maybe snug up the one that's, uh, that's uh, causing the issue. But in this case, um, the gentleman put the uh, strings on and he did not tighten these down to the point that they were stripped. I see this more often than any other injury to a guitar. And once you strip one of those out, you know, you're done. You can use a pair of needle nose pliers and screw up the outside edge of the screw. It looks stupid. Uh, but uh, this one, uh, my compliments, uh, Tracy, you did a great job. We're going to pull the strings off of this, check the neck relief, get that flattened out, uh, do my preemptive strikes on this bad boy to um, bring it to life. All right, so we have unstrung it. I uh, got the strings off of it that were on it. Uh, can't work on a guitar with strings on it. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get these angles of these frets to the correct uh, measurement. There's a lot of sharp ones on here, and I'm going to file those off. But I'm going to use my uh, neck block uh, fret filer to uh, get the angle of these frets correct on the edges of, of the uh, neck. Uh, that angle is uh, 30 degrees, which is where my uh, file is set. And uh, we'll go over this. done here we go all right so the red wire comes from the bridge pickup and the yellow wire comes from the neck pickup and that volume pot is supposed to be the wire or the pot for the neck pickup and that one down there is supposed to be the pot for the bridge pickup and then that's tone control and I have to fix this oh and there's a three-way switch down in there also not a very big uh, hole here, and what's sad about this is that uh, the pickup selector switch, um, it can be rotated a little bit further, but you can't rotate it to where the switch throws up and down or at a good angle uh, for the guitarist. It has to move like side to side between the volume knobs. 
it literally goes this direction and what it's not very uh i'm gonna see if i can do something about that all right we're gonna fix this wiring first get these pickups working right now the uh, neck pickup has very very low volume and it's probably because it's running through this capacitor over here here's the neck pickup wire it's wired to the tone control uh the rest of it mm, we'll we'll sort it out Okay, Tracy, I am going to re-solder and rewire all of the electronics in this. Uh, for the most part, uh, this wire was just came loose. Um, it Your neck position pickup is wired to the same pot or post that your capacitor for the tone control is. And um, there's just a lot of stuff here that's wrong. Uh, there's a burnt piece of wire right there that I don't want you to have to deal with that. Um, I've got it open. I'm going to go ahead and fix this stuff for you. Um, some of the ground soldering, it looks a lot like the, on your tone pot here. Uh, probably a good contact there, but that um, we need to get a bit more solder stuck to the back of that post just to make that ground a good solid connection. You bump your guitar one time in the future and that thing could pop, literally just pop right off of there. Bloop. So, um, I mean, it's staying on there now. Um, and there was this white wire that's connected, I believe. There's a white wire. Anyway, rather than show you everything, I'm just going to I'm gonna take care of it. All right. So this looks um, very much like a cold solder joint on there. I'm going to re-solder all this stuff for him. We'll get it. This is the hardware that was uh, holding the volume and tone potentiometers on and this is the hardware I will be adding to those. I've already mounted the neck position volume pot and you can see the soldering has all been cleaned up. Uh, everything looks a lot more clean and, and well soldered. Uh, no more uh, cold solder joints uh, visible. All right, clean them all up. And I'm putting that piece of hardware. Uh-huh. Lock washers. Amazing. Inexpensive. Keep the knobs from breaking. Technology. Yeah. Uh, haven't put the tone pot in yet. And uh, I found the washer that goes on the outside of this knob on the inside of the guitar. That's where the owner thought it should go. It probably... Um, I don't know, kept the switch from sticking out of the guitar so quite so far. I'm hoping that um, now I'll be able to get this washer and the nut on the outside. Haven't measured it. I'll try it. Oh, and the other thing is that the knob actually fits in here sideways. I mean, they literally cut this hole the exact sideways dimension, which now means the switch can go up and down. All right. All right, we have all the electronic stuff uh, done. Uh, that would be the bridge position. That would be the neck position, up and down, straight up and down. So uh, let's see. And this would be the tone control. So we'll leave the tone all the way off. We'll bring up the bridge. Volumes all the way off. Neck position. Tone. Oh yeah. And both of them. Oh, nothing's happening because the volume for the bridge position pickup is off. Start bringing that up. Bring the neck position volume off and nothing. Right? Hey. That reminds me of a guitar I've played. A couple of times, maybe once or twice. Yeah, I hope I didn't block the whole movie with my hand. I don't know. Yeah, and here's another thing if you paint a guitar. Man, you gotta let that paint cure, and that is like one of the hardest things in the world to do, uh, to let the paint cure, but it takes a long time. Um, so if you paint a guitar, really, you gotta let it sit for, you know, I don't care what it says on the can, 
you could double that and you'd probably still encounter uh, potentially having some wet paint that gets uh, peels up like that. Fortunately it happened in a spot that uh, was uh, sight unseen. Uh -huh. Anyhow, it's a magnetic screwdriver. Alright, so I did a full setup on this thing and I have now removed the Floyd Rose bridge from this section because while I had it apart, I forgot to color uh, this section. Uh, told the owner I would make it black uh, to make it kind of invisible and not have that wood showing. So, whew! There we go. I got to uh, finish that up. And I will do that with some wonderful black dye. Uh-huh. This stuff is messy. Uh-huh. Don't get it on you. Well, now that looks a whole lot better. And then I also noticed up here on the headstock, right over here, there was a little bit of finish that was missing. It probably got nicked out maybe while he was putting the nut on or... Something like that. There was a, you can see that darker spot there. I've just used some red dye to kind of color that in to kind of keep your eyes from being drawn to it. It doesn't match the paint job perfectly, but, uh, you know, he could maybe shoot some, some of this paint onto a brush and brush it in there or just leave it. Uh, whatever he wants to do. But I thought I'd make it look a little nicer with just a couple touches of a paintbrush and some, uh, denatured alcohol and uh clorox bleach yeah there you go boy that looks a whole lot better all right so as with most floyd rose impregnated guitars um i was tightening down the uh center um lock and uh the screw stripped um these are not necessarily the highest quality parts that they send with this kit and the threads obviously stripped on that one uh, I didn't even really have it tight so you know me being the me that I am have a bunch of these spares laying around if you need one they're about 30 bucks a piece so come get one if you do this now um, the other thing is that these little uh, screws, uh, locking screws, are supposed to be 3 millimeter. Well, the ones they send with this are like 3.03 .03 millimeters. So your uh, common 3 millimeter uh, hex key it doesn't fit in these correctly. It's loose. Uh, this one fits really sn t snug, whereas, uh, you know, we've got a, eh, it ain't perfect. But these ones, holy smokes. I mean, they're just... So, I hope this came with an Allen key that fits these, because they don't seem to be a 3 mil. They're bigger than 3 mil. Uh, so, they're, it's one of those things. Uh, and uh, here's the uh, saddle, all blackened out down underneath there. Looks sweet. Look at that thing. Now it's looking like a murder weapon for show. Uh-huh. And we colored in that red. Yep. Uh, she's about ready. She is about ready. A few little setup, uh, minor setup uh, adjustments at this point. Oh, and the other thing I did was, uh, on the back side of this, I was able to span these uh, springs, uh, space them out evenly along the back side of that. The owner who built the guitar said that he was having trouble getting those things to stay put. Uh, the springs uh, in the... Uh, I can't do this with one hand. Anyhow... Uh, now they look like that, and it's well balanced, and that's how I like to do them. Uh, I've had such good luck with the one that I own that that's how I do it in all of them. And as you can see, that bridge is perfectly flat with the body and should be working uh, flawlessly. I think uh, I have adjusted the string action ever so slightly. When I came in today, it had bit back and had raised the string action here at the 12th fret ever so slightly. Uh, so I dropped this down. Now I need to readjust my pickup height and uh, check, recheck the intonation. Mm -hmm. Whew. You do one thing, uh, one step forward, two steps back, uh, two steps forward, one step back. Five, five steps forward, four step, no, four, five steps forward, and then you stop. <laughs>
a telecaster. Oh, that sounds great. Give it the old Eddie Van Halen. Oh, uh, I'm, I can't come do on, Eddie man. Van Halen. I, I, can't, the... I cannot play one Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> but I love him. Yeah. If I could play one Eddie Van Halen, right. I would. Well, give the old E string a good dive bomb. And then check the tuning. Perfect. Oh, I can. I... Nice. Snaps right back, man. <laughs> you did good. Another, <laughs> another successful operation. <laughs> right on. All right. Well, there it is. The. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I've, I've been calling this thing uh, the murder weapon uh, because, well, you could probably, you know, do some damage with this thing. And, you know, the cool thing is it's got a headstock on it big enough to slap a bass player. It's all set up, ready to go. String action, just like as low as I can get it without uh, fret buzz. Um, had to tap a couple of these frets in up here. They were a little high to get that down. Uh, intonation's perfect. Neck relief is uh, perfect. Uh, it's about as perfect as you can make a guitar. And uh, you just basically watched it breathe its first breath of life. I had to play it a little bit to make sure when I handed it to uh, my fearless leader, it would work correctly. And it did. Look at that. Gorgeous. The murder weapon. Ready to go home.